What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. This your boy, Tank Be Chopping. We back with another video. Now, I know y'all been asking me for the past couple months to do an update on what I have on my station. Now, y'all know that I do a lot of reviews for YouTube, a lot of unboxings for y'all. You know, I give y'all my opinions on a lot of stuff, and I try to get my hands on all the newest stuff, right? So I do have a lot of stuff on my station right now. However, I'm gonna show y'all what I've kept on my station so far this year. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I would have liked to keep, but it's just, I had no room for it, right? Like, y'all know I get a bunch of tools in. I'm always buying new tools. Companies are always sending me tools. So I don't have room for everything on my station. This is just some of the stuff that I still like to use. And we're basically gonna go over that in this video. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, man, so first things first, as y'all can see, once again, I do got a lot of stuff on my station, as y'all can see, all my clippers, my sprays, I got a bunch of guards everywhere. I know I'm not the most organized barber, but these are the guards I really use right here, so that's why I got them in that thing. But nonetheless, man, let's start over here on the left side. So we're going to start from the front. So one clipper that I've been using a lot of here recently has been this Heinegger detachable clipper. Go ahead and turn that on for y'all. So I've really been using this clipper a lot here lately. I have all my blades on this side over here. As y'all can see, I have all the blades I have. This is the five zero, the three zeros goes here, but that's the one that I have on the clipper as y'all can see. Well, I don't know if y'all can see that, but then we got the OA right here. We got the one, the one A in the back right there. Here is the one and a half, the two guard, the Three and a half right here, the three and three quarters, and then the five eight. So those are all the blades that I have for the Heinegger Clipper, the one that I've been using. Y'all been seeing it in my videos. I've been using this one a lot. Uh, personally, man, I like it. I know a lot of people aren't big on detachables, and if they are, they really like the Supras, and that's fine, you know, to each his own. But that clip, that is one of the main tools that I've been using for a minute is the Heinegger Detachable. That is the serious. Once again, guys, if y'all want to purchase any tool y'all see in this video, you can go to fwbarbersupply.com and get that. But check that out, man. That's that thing. And then I got this right here, the Gamma Plus Blowback. As you can see, it's just... I use it to blow off my clients, to clean up my station a little bit. You can go to GammaPlusNA.com, get you one of those, use my discount code Taint10. I do have a Gamma Boosted Shaver right here. I'm going to be honest, this isn't my go-to shaver, but I have it in case my other shavers die. So I got that, and then we're going to move on to right here. As you can see, we have the Wall A-Line Trimmer. One of my go-to trimmers, especially for kids, you know, I like that it's got the smaller teeth on there, so I use that one for kids. We're going to move back a little more. As y'all can see, I have the wall charging dock back here, so that's where I got my wall clippers on. We have the wall detailer, check that out, the black joints, wall detailer. Overall, man, honestly, a uh, good trimmer. It's not as flashy and as... You know, as modern looking as some of the newer trimmers, but nonetheless, still a great trimmer. But let's go ahead and put that one down. I also have a wall magic clip. Same thing with the magic clip, man. Ain't the flashiest of clippers, but nonetheless, man, still a great tool. A good tool for a beginner barber. It's not too expensive. I believe they have this on their website, on the Wall Pro website, for like 120 bucks, 130 bucks, something like that. Wallpro.com. Use discount code Tank10 on that website also. And then one of my favorite trimmers right now, the wall high-vis trimmer. Great for putting in some super sharp lines. Not for everybody, a lot of people don't like the ergonomics of this trimmer, but me personally, I like it, man. It works great, great for what I needed to do. I don't really bought out with it, I just line up with it. And I might take out that bottom line with this if I need to. But then we're gonna move over a little more. And as you can see right here, we have the Sabre 2 Clipper from Stylecraft, check that out. That's one of my go-tos here on my station also. 
So we got that, put that one back in the chart. I'm gonna be honest, that's not even the stand for it. That's the stand for like, I think it's like the boosted, uh, the boost trimmer. But sometimes if you put your clipper in it, it'll charge it. It ain't charging it right now, but come on, man. Don't make me look bad on camera. So as you can see, it's not the stand for it, but it still charges the clipper. And that this stand also charges this trimmer right here. It also charges this clipper, this trimmer, and then this trimmer right here, and then my boosted, my gamma boosted trimmer. But nonetheless, man, let's keep it moving. So then we're gonna move on right here. Also, one of my favorite trimmers right here, the Sabre trimmer. Great trimmer, great all-around trimmer, great for de ball, uh, de great for balding out, great for lining up, great for designs, great for everything right here. Super quiet, digital brushless motor. Great trimmer all in all. And then we have the Metal Instinct Clipper. A little loud, but still one of my favorite clippers to date right now. So we got that. And then we also have the Wall Vapor right here. People have been asking me what I really think about this Wall Vapor, man. And honestly, I think Wall, Wall put out a good tool with this one, man. Something different than their traditional magic clips that a lot of people use. You know, obviously it's different. Works really well, man. I really enjoy using that. And then we have the Instinct X trimmer. Works really well. Vibrates kind of a lot more than I would like. You know, like it's a, it's a big vibration. But all in all, leaves some great lines, super sharp lines. So that's that. And then we also have the Instinct, uh, the Metal Instinct trimmer to go with the clipper. Check that out right there. And then let's keep it moving. We got the Andis GTX XO with the Enforce blade. Again, one of my favorite trimmers right here. Works really good for balding out, lining up. It is really sharp though. I don't know if y'all can see that on the camera, but it is really sharp. I don't know if y'all can see how close it is. Really sharp though, some people I can't use this on because it will irritate them. And then we got the Andis, the Black Label Masters with the phase blade on there. I told y'all I was gonna keep this one on my station and I did, and I still use it. I use it a lot actually. And that's why I got my purple guards right there because that's, that's what I use with this clipper right here. But we're gonna put that down. Once again, these are my go-to guards. Uh, I typically use the Babyliss Premium Guards. That's what we got here. Uh, that's the half guard. The one guard right here. And then I have the Gamma Tight 1.5 guard. And the reason for that is uh, the Babyliss, my Babyliss one that I had, it, it stopped fitting on some of my clippers for whatever reason. It only fits on the Babyliss clippers now. So I threw it to the side. And, you know, this one, basically universal. It's got the magnets on it. So it works almost the same. So those are the guards I go to. And as you can see right here, I have the Lime Green Babyliss Low Pro FX1. This is my favorite FX1 out right now. This one in the Nightfall, but these kind of took over uh, from the Nightfall for me. So that has been on my station. Along with the clipper, as you can see, we have the clipper right here. Great tool overall, man. Really like using this tool also. And then I have the FX1 shaver also right here. Check that out. And then we have the charging dock for the batteries. So you know what, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I thought I was missing a battery, but I'm lying. I got one right here in the shaver, and then I got the other battery right here in the clipper. And I, I had four, but I think I sold, I, I, I let someone at the shop use the other battery. Y'all don't know what happened to it, but I had four, but now I got three. But it's all good, man. Luckily, they're all interchangeable, so I could put this battery in this unit, this battery in this unit, or however you wanna do. So these batteries are interchangeable. Shout out to Babyliss for this idea. But we're going to put that one back in there, as you can see. And then I have some shave gel right here, the H14 shave gel. But let's keep it moving. JRL. I got the JRL Ghost Edition Clipper right here. I know it's a little dirty. I know y'all asking about that when I did the video, if it gets dirty. Uh, it does a little bit due to it being on my station, spraying enhancements and whatnot. But I can uh, wipe that off with some alcohol. But check it out, man. That's the JRL Ghost Clipper. Here is the JRL Ghost Trimmer. Same thing with the trimmer, man. Looks a little dirty, but I can just clean that up with some, uh, with some alcohol. But that's also one of my go-to trimmers. And then like I said, I got some guards up here. We got the purple magnetic guards that I use with my Andis clippers. And then I have some backup guards, basically the Stylecraft dub guards I have up here. And then I have 
you know, just some random guards also. Just I just keep guards on my station in case I lose one. Y'all know how it is when you're cutting hair. Sometimes it's easy for you to lose a guard. So with that being said, I have extras here. And then I got some 245 hair fibers down here. I got some Rhoda aftershave. We got the Immortal aftershave. This one actually smells really good right here. And then we have some more aftershave, level three. I got some Statement Definition Spray. Shout out to Statement Grooming. And now I just got some clipper side, as you can see. We got, this is the clipper side right here. I got a water bottle, some hairspray, some uh, Marva side disinfectant, some powder. I don't remember what it's called, but this is my babyless box where I disinfect my combs. Uh, let's keep it moving. This is my airbrush. Everyone always asks me what airbrush I use. This is the one I use. It's from my favorite barber. I don't know if y'all can see that right here. But that's the brand. I believe you can purchase this on fwbarbersupply.com. Check that out. That's the uh, gun I use. And then these are the enhancements that I typically use. The black from my favorite barber. Good thing about those enhancements, man, is they last forever. And I say forever, but it's a good amount of time. And then we got the black brown also. And what I mean by forever is they typically last a little longer than any other enhancement I use. And that's just me being honest with y'all. Uh, I, I like the other enhancements. The 245 one is good. The Temptation, the spray cans by Kiss is good. But this one just lasts a little longer and my clients like it a little more. So that's the one I use. I got some gloves right there. We got my clutch barber card, uh, enhancement card. Shout out to Sean Cutte. I need to clean that up though. And then I got this up here. I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't, I've only used it a couple times, but we got the JRL OG manual clipper. I forgot what it's called, but that's it right there. Check that out. Got some hair gel right there. That's just uh, the typically the one I use, the one from Faded Culture. And that's basically all the tools we got on the station, man. I know y'all have been asking, but check that out one more time. Yeah, man, so that's basically all the tools I have on my station. Like I said, I got a bunch of tools on my station. I don't always use every single one of these tools every day, but uh, I do go through my phases, right? Like, like right now, my go-to one that I'm really using a lot is the Sabre 2 Clipper. I use that one a lot. I'm also using the Wall Vapor a lot. Those are probably like my main ones right now. Uh, however, this one might be a close third. You know, it just depends on how I feel for the day. And that's the good thing about having different tools is I don't ever really get bored of cutting hair because I have all these different tools on my station and I can use whichever one I feel like using at that time. So that's basically that, man. Uh, one of my favorite trimmers that I use, I said it earlier in this video, is the Wall High Vis trimmer. Really good trimmer. And then this uh, Sabre, I just got a new one like last week. Uh, great tool, man. Great, great tool. Really love using this trimmer as well. But uh, yeah, man, that's just some of the stuff that I got on my station. Uh, if you're interested in any of these products, I do got discount codes down in the description. But just to keep it short and simple, you can go to fwbarbersupply.com. Use my discount code Tank10 on that website. You can purchase almost anything you see on my station and you'll get a discount when you use my discount code Tank10, right? But that's basically it. Oh, I didn't even show you all my shears. I got some shears. Let me show you all those real quick before we sign off. I got these uh, Masaki shears right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. But we got the Masaki shears right here. I got these blending shears. I believe I got them. Man, I don't even know the, na the name brand of these. But I, I need to find it out and post it on the screen for y'all. I got me some Hanzos right here. I believe these are five and a half shears right here. Some five and a halves. I got me some Hanzo six and a half shears. Check that out. These are the six and a half. And then I also have me some Hanzo uh, texturizing shears. This is what I use for a lot of texture. And then I got my big shear over comb shear right here. I believe this is a, a seven inch, is it a, it's a, it's an eight inch shear. I thought it was a seven and a half, but this is my eight inch shear. We got another regular shear right here. I believe this is a six inch. And that's basically it, man. So those are my shears. Yeah, man. So like I was saying, man, that's basically it. If you want to purchase any of these things, uh, you can't go to you can't go to fwbarsupply.com. Use my discount code Tank10, or I got the links to the other websites down in the description. Use the discount code down in the description. But with that being said, man, that's basically it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go. Yeah.